Hi, it's Brittany. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you like this makeup look I created right here, I go would appreciate a thumbs up. And you can keep on watching to see how I did it. Get to it. For foundation, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. Then I have a few spots where I need to conceal. I'm using Shape Tape Concealer. That's somewhat the same shade as my foundation. And then to highlight, I use a shade of concealer that's lighter than my foundation or my skin tone. I need water. <coughs> so this is the shade Fair. A piece of lint. I ordered the new concealer from Tarte, the creaseless concealer, and uh, like over almost a month ago, like when they first announced it, I ordered it. And then um, it finally came yesterday, and when I opened the box, it was empty. There was nothing inside. So I don't know if they forgot to put the concealer in the box, or if they um, did, and then someone somehow figured a way to get it out of the box without opening or breaking the tape. I don't know. So that was disappointing. I really was looking forward to trying it. Anyway, this will do. So when I'm doing tutorials, I don't know what to talk about. I'm, I'll learn. I'll get better at talking in front of the camera, but right now it feels really awkward. But, uh, I'm learning. I'll get better. It's the heart. Kind of. I'm just putting some of that extra concealer on my eyes as a primer. What's left over on my sponge just Coat your eyelid with it. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, a roo. Then I highlight here. Here. The reason I don't put all my concealer on at once is because I find that the Shape Tape concealer tends to dry real fast. So by the time I get to where, I, if I do my under eyes first and then I go anywhere else, it's like dried and you could see a line or a dot or whatever it was, whatever kind of shape, it just dries. So I do it in sections. I don't know if it's just me, but um, does it happen to anyone else? With the shape tape concealer or is that just me? I don't know. I don't know. Now let's do some contouring. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber. Gotta get that golly whopper, as my mom calls it. This under your 
chin. That's a golly whopper. And using the same brush I used for my foundation, I'm going to blend out my contour. And if you're curious, uh, I'm using the It's Likely Makeup and Furless Cosmetics Brush Collab. This is the Pro 4F. And I love it. Then I blend this in towards my hairline very lightly as not to disturb the rest of the makeup on my forehead. Makeup on my forehead does weird stuff so I have to be like super careful. I lost a little bit of the highlight on my nose so I'm going to Go back in and put some more. Maybe just lighten up here again a little bit. Hi, those bags I got going on. And to set my Face, I'm going to use the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. I'm putting setting powder in all the places that my face tends to crease help keep my makeup in place like you know my smile lines you don't want your makeup to crease there up in the nose I don't know what to call those your nose creases crevices your nose crevice your nose crack you know this thing right here I really want to make that contour prominent so I'm going to also bake here along the jawline. I know this is the sexiest part of makeup. What? And while that's baking I'm going to do my eyebrows. My eyebrows. I'm saying that weird. I'm going to do my eyebrows. That sounds weird too. No. Oh. Dust away all that powder. And then I'm using the Wet and Wild bronzer in the color Reserve Your Cabana. I am putting that all over my face to make it glue. And then I'm going to comb all my eyebrow hairs up and out using Anastasia Clear Eyebrow Gel. To deepen the contour just a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the Shade and Light palette. And 
my Kat Von D and grab the lightest shade and just pop that right in there ever so lightly and then blend it out. A little bit more in the gully whopper there. A little bit more. Right there. Mm. My under eye is not, for some reason it's not staying as bright as I'd hoped, so I'm gonna grab the lightest shade in this the Kat Von D palette here. And that's better. And I have been using the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay a lot lately. Um, it's for one, how pretty is this situation here? It's so cute. And inside, all the colors are fantastic. I'm gonna start with the color Breakaway. This color right here, this guy. And it's gonna go on my brow bone and then down to the crease. Then I'm getting the shade The Weekender on my big fluffy Pro 7E from Furless Cosmetics and going right in the crease and then the crease right here, blending it out. Taking the Furless Cosmetics and it's likely makeup brush, the Pro 8E. I'm taking the shade Still Shot here. And we're gonna pack that onto the lid. Once you have it as dark as you'd like it to be, just sort of blend up into the crease. Just like that. And with the same brush and the same color, we're applying the shadow to our lower lash line. Our, like, our. What am I even saying right now? Me, I, me, myself, I am doing this right now. Good. I am applying still shot to my under eye. Such a noob. For mascara, I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit. Oh. So I took a pair of Ardell Wispy Lashes, just cut them in half, and I'm going to just stick those at the Ends just a little bit more volume today. Just a little bit more. Might help if I had a mirror. I'm using the Anastasia Blush Kit, the shade Coastline for my blush. When you're blending your blush, you want to blend it into your contour. Don't forget. For highlighter, I'm using my favorite. Starlight Illuminator. It's a highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. As 
much highlighter as you want. Really don't think there's such thing as too much highlighter. It's just so pretty. Then I'm gonna highlight the center of my nose. Get a little bit. to get a smaller brush. Let's see, I'm gonna use the Pro 2E my Fairless Cosmetics and it's Likely Makeup Collab. I'm gonna highlight the inner corner. And my brow bone. If you want to, if you're not getting a, a very dramatic, as dramatic as you'd like highlighter, you could take a beauty blender and just dab some more, just like so. You could leave it like that. I like to just go in with the brush I use for my blush to blend just a little bit so it doesn't look just like a line. A line. I almost forgot to put mascara on my lower lash line. Whoops. Oh. To brighten up my eyes and make them just seem more open and awake, there's this Paula Dorf enhancer that I got. Oh, it's like it's like a nude shade eyeliner. You could probably use any nude shade eyeliner. This is just the one that I have, and just gonna pop that into the waterline here. For freckles, people use a lot of different things. In fact, there's this new freckle product called Freck. I ordered some. It has not come in yet. But in the meantime, I use, I use um, an eyebrow pencil. I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. I also use the the eye shade and light palette from Kat Von D and I use the dark brown shade oh I believe it's the shade I can't don't even get me started it's a dark brown so I'll show you how I do with the eyebrow pencil just kind of get it and twist and sometimes it these show up lighter So, there'll be different colors, different shades of freckles. They're not all the same color. They're not all the same shape, natural freckles. So it's okay that these are just a little bit lighter. And if you push really hard, you'll get a nice dark one like that. You guys see? Happening. Don't think too much about placement, just or that they need to be perfectly even. Just start going, going for it. Once I have a good number of freckles, I just kind of go in and push them, dab my finger over them so they're not as harsh and they don't look like they're just sitting on top of my makeup. They look like they're underneath it. 
I'll also show you with the Pro 6M from Furless Cosmetics, the It's Likely Makeup Collaboration. Uh, I'm going to go in with this, um, this color here. That's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for the eye. And I'm just going to give myself a few a bit darker ones with eyeshadow. These are a little bit bigger, but that's okay because the freckles are different sizes. Oh! Stab that one down. See, and that's, I like eyeshadow because you can just pick it up. Now I'm going to take my blush brush and just kind of dab over some of those to lighten them up just a touch. And with this big fluffy brush on my nose, just to blend them into the makeup again. I'm using the MAC lip liner in the shade Boldly Bare. Then and then I'm using the High Five Shine by Urban Decay. Let's see, it's in the shade Rapture. Mm. Smells so good. Now I'm going to use the NYX Matte Finish Spray to set to my face. And here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you did, you know what to do. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. What else am I supposed to say in these outros? never know what to say. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Take care now. Bye bye then.